Hey, Good Shepherd family. Thought it would be important for uh, us as elders to be able to talk to you and have conversation with you and let you know a little bit about what are some of the things that we've been wrestling with. You notice our church is empty and we don't like that very much, just so you know. I come to work, I sit in my office and I walk around and I run into a few, but I can't wait for us as a body to begin to be together. It's just challenging and very hard. I don't mind the services. They've been wonderful in our living room, gathering some of you with some of your friends now, but there's nothing like when God calls us to assemble together. We love that. And I want you to know that we are working hard uh, to know what it is then for us to gather in these days. And in some ways it's limiting, but we believe God is in charge. I look at this passage in Isaiah 46 when he says, remember the former things of old. You got to remember something. It means God has always had a plan. He has always been sovereign and he is in charge when the things around us seem to frustrate us and, and they don't make sense. And he says, for I am God and there is no other. In other words, God has no competition with anybody. He's not surprised by any of this. He says, I am God and there is none like me declaring the end from the beginning and from ancient times things not yet done saying. And this is the part I love in Isaiah when he says, my counsel stands and I will accomplish my purpose. In other words, God has this all in control. He is governing. And I find great delight in that. That's the beauty of us reading God's word together. You know, in one way, I have to say I'm proud of our country because when this epidemic hit, we saw our country with the number of people try to figure out a way to stand against something we aren't used to and have ever seen. We have known some epidemics in the past historically. But now, two months later, we are in a different time, a different evaluation, different information. And so God is moving churches together so that we can navigate these waters. Uh, we are not alone either. I wanna share that with you. I've been in conversations with many pastors. We signed a document with 40 other pastors in the East County and, and we love those guys. They're Bible teaching pastors who are navigating their, their waters the same as us. I'm so thankful. I was in a conversation with Barry Arnold who was one of our pastors some time ago his church at Cornerstone, same thing, navigating these waters. We're sharing ideas. What is it we can do in these days to help our people gather, hold each other accountable, not feel in isolation, not feel lonely? To stand up when we need to stand up. Be courageous when we need to be courageous. And I love this brother. He was talking about some of the things they do where they're asking some of their body members to invite people to their homes if they can. And I want to say, many of you are already doing that. Thank you. We know that you are. And they had like 15 in their room in the office and they were doing a little service together. But see, pastors are trying to encourage each other in these days. Solidarity. We want to do it together. But as a local church, we have a responsibility too. We understand that we are with these pastors and they're watching and they're with us and their elders are working hard. But your elders are working hard too. We apologize that maybe some of the communication is not as good as it can always be. Um, my wife tells me that sometimes. <laughs> but I know that we might not do it perfectly, but I really believe we can do this together. I really believe that. The elders in our gathering and our getting together and our discussion and opening up the Bible, I will tell you, it has been a little bit spirited at times, but that's okay because we're better together and we will do things in unity. Even though there might be differences of opinions, but there are differences of opinion in our whole body, in our church, right? Guys, as a body, we need to hold on to each other, even though we don't see one another. But I want you to know, in a very small way, our desire is to begin 
the process of doing some limited gatherings. The elders are working at this moment and drafting a letter that will bring you more details for you to understand how and when and where. Please pray for us. Again, we might not always do it perfectly, but we will do it together. Now, I want you to know we're still going to continue the online streaming for many of you who are high at risk. We know that. We know your fears. We understand that. We're not blind to that, nor are we going to make you feel bad about that. But we also know that there's some of us that are like, we're ready. <laughs> we're ready. We want to see you. We want to be together with you. You know, maybe a little bit of an elbow bump. I don't care. You know, it's just, ah, oh, you know, and some of you are, well, you're ready as we are. So I want you to know that this moment in dialoguing with you, I know it's not the cure-all, but please know our desire is to, to be good shepherd. We have a whole lot of you out there. And we also know a lot of you are online. And what's really fun for me is when I see the Facebook and I see some of your names, it brings tears to my eyes because I go, look, I might not see you, but I know we're watching the services together because we want to be God's people. I love it in Joshua 1, 8 and 9. Be strong and courageous for the Lord that God is with you wherever you go. God is a God of courage and so shall we be. According to the Bible, he gives grace to the humble, but he opposes the proud. I love you very much. Our pastors, our elders, our staff, pray for them. Because you know, in many ways it's, Hate to say this, easier to shut down than to start up. And so you pray for us and we'll be looking for volunteers to help us. We know that um, we've had to furlough some people. And so it's limited, but we pray you would understand that with us. We love you deeply. Thank you very much.